X2HRs. That's all you gotta know. And don't forget to download the wallpaper in the description. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? So that is the Fuller 3. I've now officially done all the Fullers. The Fuller, Fuller 1, which wasn't called the Fuller 1. Then there was the Fuller 2, which was an actual unit. And it's the Fuller 3. And things have changed through all of them. I've sold all the rest of them. I don't have any around. Um, where do we start? I guess we'll, we'll pick the box. It says Fuller 3. Gaming app, app, amp, act, damp, damp, act, damp, act. And this fills a spot in the market that is not really doable for cheaper than this. We've got the Mayflower Arc. We've, there's a Burson play. And then there's another one after that. And there's one other unit that I'm going to just, I'm going to gloss over. I'm sure fucking forget. I'm just, I don't know. I forget. I want to forget what it is, but I've already forgotten what it is. But they're all expensive. And this is a hundred bucks. And this, I have the hell back there. We're not going to talk about the hell or the heel or the hollow. It's only got one L, so. But what makes this unique is this. I've got a mod mic here, mod mic five, I think. Just plugged into it, and obviously this is not how you'd run it. And I've got a headphone cable to a regular set of headphones. And I've got an output in the back, which is going into the 789, which I was using as a preamp and USB in coming from this laptop because it only has, it has USB in, it has power in if you're using this, which is a three and a half millimeter in. And then when you use that, it disconnects the, the USB, but you could power with this USB, but if you only want to use that, you gotta, you can use this one. So you don't have a data one and this is variable output. So you could, you could turn up and down and the front's got the microphone input and the three and a half millimeter for headphones. And the top volume knob is very large, very large knob, very, very comfortably large knob that sticks up. I love big knobs. That's it. That's the review of the full of three. What do you think? Cause here's the thing. It doesn't sound like the greatest fucking headphone amp. Oh my God, throw away all this R2R shit. This tube's garbage. It's a hundred bucks for an amp DAC microphone USB converter with a pre-out. I don't even do this. I guess that's a simpler. And I'm going to put top volume knob and made in America. The six things and it's a hundred dollars. So, unless it sounded like absolute garbage, which it doesn't, I have no reason not to give this a full endorsement. Like, I, I really didn't need to even review it at this point. It's just a matter of me letting you know it exists. Because it exists uh, here. Ooh, I like Shit's website that's all black, but at some point it's a little bit too dark. So what's our power looking like? 400 milliwatts at 16 ohm, which no one's running 16 ohm headphones, let's admit that. So you're looking at more like 32 to 50 ohm, 200 milliwatts. You're not gonna run T50s off this, but anything that even comes close, and by the way, there is one of them available on Amazon. I don't know if they're supposed to be on, it says sold by shit, so I'll link to that as well. But for any quote unquote normal headphone, you know, not DT-880s, you know, e even like something like the HP-3s, which are an $1,100 or $1,300 set of headphones, don't require a lot of power, this will be fine. Fine. Now, we're, I'm going to tone back any of your expectations that are like, well, I don't need the Mati Magni stack because I've got the full of three. It's not that clean. But if I put on my X2HRs, which I love, I do love, and I don't talk about how much I love them enough, and or we're running off of here off the USB. And this, by the way, isn't the USB cable it came with. This is the USB cable it came with. And it's, this is a brand new amp tac. I know, shit, I know, but it's not USB-C and I don't know fucking why you wouldn't, it's just, it's just a connector. Just solder a different one on the board. Do you need licensing fees? Is that a thing like, like one's power and one's for signal or power? Because it's being powered by the one, but I mean that's just anyway. I'm using the um, the USB cable from the Cooler Master gaming cans because it's so much nicer. Anyway, um, so here's where music's coming from. USB out. I think it's real cute. That says hi, I'm full of, and then it's the shit logo. And when you actually load it into Windows, it says I'm full of shit as the device name. There's, there's some. I'm, I'm good. I like comedy. 
That's funny. You're funny. I laughed. If I had the microphone here, you could see the microphone readout. It's an internal microphone. There's the, uh, the shit full of... And it's just, it's just fine. You can buy one of these separately. I don't believe it comes with it. I bought this unit to review. I didn't, like, ask for it. I bought it. And, um, I don't think it comes with this. This comes with the hell. And shit sent me that hell. I think, unless I bought that too. I don't remember anymore. I've had this stuff for months. Um, and this is just a split for headphone and microphone. And it gives you a four pole, which if you have something like a gaming headset that's got a microphone built in, a lot of them come with the four pole wire, which you would then plug into this and then you'd be able to split the front like that. Otherwise, you would just plug in your separate microphone and separate headphone and you're done with it. So that's what's that showing there. Uh, we are playing music. LCD sound systems on. Let's turn that up. Um, I, if you recall back to the Fullet 2 review, there was an issue that they seemed to have a lot of trouble fixing, which was the volume knob could never quite center over the hole. Like it went into the unit and you could see like the, the, the outside. So what they've done to fix that is they've basically dented the unit down. They've concaved it. And then wherever the hole is, who cares? They just put the knob over it. So you can't actually see if it's not centered. That's the, those are the little details that, you know, China got shit right 20 years ago. But, you know, you're making American amps and DACs. And you're making things here. You got to learn that stuff. So it actually doesn't look cheap. The Fuller 2 had, like, some weird cheapness going on. This, very few sharp edges. I'm very proud of them. Uh, three legs, which is all you need. Because this way it'll sit level on anything. There's like a tripod. This reason there's a tripod and not a quad pod. A quad pod's a chair. You ever sit in a chair that rocks around or a dining room table? That's why they need three. So three's the way to go. This Pegasus DAC has three because three's the way to go. It's the same size as the previous full. A little heavier, I think, maybe. Steel bottom. I think this is a steel top. I don't think I'm going with aluminum. Aluminum knob which could feel a little smoother. There's like a little bit of roughness around the edges there. Just the slightest variation of left to right when you're getting up there. Like, uh, and then it's perfectly fine. It says Fulla, and the Fulla logo here is not centered. So that's the only thing I'm gonna point out, and I just realized it. Yeah, there's the two dots, like the dots go down, and the dots line up right over the first line on the L on the first L. Not the middle of it, so that's, that's my OCD is already freaked out. So we could just erase it. If, if it was just called the full, that's perfect. But the full, ah, uh, ruined. Just fucking ruined. So now if I unplug this and plug it in here, th that's one of the other things is when you get the unit so small and simple. So now this is controlling the volume of the headphone, which would be... You wouldn't output from the back of this, so the variable output to another headphone amplifier. Previous Fullas had a variable output and a fixed output, so you could hook up to another amp with another volume control. And that was very unique in the world of audio, and it's gone now. But this allows you now to have a 3.5mm input, so you can use it as a USB jack, or if you've got something else you want to feed the source from you can plug into that it'll override and then you can power with that and it's 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 solid it's it's a solid experience like usually this stuff is sort of like you plug it in it doesn't work and it worked fine everything showed up nothing is is loose or weak or cheap although i did plug in this usb cable and it's sort of like went in sideways for, for the first time i'm not gonna unplug it now I just do oh I'm not plugged it that's I heard that going ah so let me undo that my, my problem is that when you have something like powered speakers or in this case you could even have a power amp to it and use this as your pre is that it's outputting front and rear at the same time so you're gonna have to unplug your headphones if you don't want them playing when you're adjusting the volume that could be very dangerous uh, also like, I kind of wish it was a fixed out. Like, there's, there's two schools. It needs a, either a switch here, or like you used to have where it's fixed and variable. But they've exchanged that for having an input, which I guess... 
This would be basically for powered monitors. You would be outputting to something that doesn't have a volume control like, like Atom T5Vs or even like an edifier set that has a volume. You just leave the volume at a certain point and you adjust everything here. It just needs a button or a switch and it doesn't have that. So, and it's on all the time. So you're gonna have to shut that thing off anyway. You get the point. You get the point, I get the point. So, this is gonna be another one of those short reviews. Remember I promised I would not try to make like 40 minute reviews all the time? Well, when something calls for it, when I have to like babble and fucking make comparisons and say, look, ice cream is cold. And sometimes it melts by these headphones. See, when I can get into like that sort of thing, then you need a 40 minute video. But this has, Almost nothing to complain about, other than the word being off, but really not much in the way of like, oh my god, hands waving so fast, anime waifus, it's the best thing. I am so glad it exists. It's cheap. It's a company that I trust. It's got the features that if you're a starting gamer, this is, this is it. Why make you do anything else? Forget the hell even exists for a little bit, for a little, little baby bit. And just get the full of three. I want, I'm a gamer, I'm just starting out. All right, get the full of three. But I want a microphone, it does it. But what about my speakers, my Altec Lansing speakers? I'm, this will do it fine. It, it does it all. And it does it all for a hundred bucks. And it doesn't, ex it doesn't exceed my expectations in almost any forms as far as sound quality or power. So that's perfect. It's a perfect review. Zeus, you done? I'm done. This is it. This is basically like a product review that you'd find on the product page. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I'll whip it out for you, all right? I know you guys are thirsty for me to uh, become car salesman again. I love how we also have the red uh, V-Moto wire. I don't know if these exist anymore. Zeus, try to link the V-Moto wires. I think they disappeared off Amazon a couple years back, and I don't know why. Okay, so. Welcome to the shit full of three, now featuring microphone input, uh, USB power or data, line in, and a variable output that syncs with your front end. I guess you could put a subwoofer in here and then you could have, you could be that real asshole. You could put bass shakers in that. See those linked to bass shakers. Then you could have bass shakers in the rear. It's basically just another headphone out in the rear is what it comes down to. Oh, that's very quiet. I don't want to get very loud. Hold on. I mean, give me a consistently loud song. Consistently loud. You can see it hasn't built any of my what's it called's up either. All right, we're at 12 noon. Oh, much louder in front. So they're, they're keeping it locked to like a line level at maximum. It's fine. It's got a bunch of holes in it. Speed holes. These are blatantly speed holes. Come on, have you not seen that episode? Then that's it. I have no bad things to say about it. Except for the lettering's off. And that's just mine. If you own a full of three, please, at home, tell me what lines up right down the middle of that. Because it looks like the line up is right at the first L's vertical. And that's not centered. This is not. Piece of shit. It'll be in the yard sale, by the way. If you don't know, this channel is supported by viewers like you. And um, when I get something or buy something or I'm donated, people have started donating things to the channel, which I really appreciate. It's like, here's the house. I don't need any of this. If you could do a review, if you have it, if not, throw it in the yard sale. God bless. Um, but uh, yeah, this will be in the yard sale. I, I don't think I'm gonna have anything to compare. What else is coming out that can do $100 worth of this? Even the Sennheiser GSX, this has a better headphone amplifier than that. This, this. Of course we go to the quietest part of the song. That is moving drivers. And it was real hard to move anything on any headphone on that Sennheiser. Granted this doesn't have the modes and DSP corrections and things, but who cares about that? I just need the most basic, this, here look, USB in, headphone out. Wanna add a mic, boom. Wanna add speakers, boom. Wanna use a line in, boom. The end. Buy this in the yard sale. It's only $100, you'll probably bid $61 and for $5 to get in, you, there you go. I ship for free to the continental United States. I mean, look at the size of this box. It ain't gonna cost me more than like 
Actually, the minimum is always like $12 to ship anything. That sucks. Um, but yeah, $5 tiers on the Patreon or subscribe so that support this channel. Uh, see these videos early. Videos early. I'm getting an accent all of a sudden. Participate in the yard sales where I sell 10 to 12 items at the beginning of every month. Things either, like I said, sent to me or I've purchased or donated. And then uh, participate in the yard sales, which we're talking about. And then, wait, what's the third one? Ask me any questions you want on platform. I got confuzzled. I ate too many spare ribs. Trust me, you, they were real good. Sous vide for 24 whole hours at 152 degrees. Then smothered in brown sugar. Um, yeah, so those are the reasons to support this channel. Just just keep me going. Just 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 keep me going, please. Because I need to buy more of this stuff and hopefully pay bills and feed the cat. Oh, shit, I got to review that, too. And it was a $10 chat, which is filled with people who care more about audio than I do, really. And if you'd like to join the behind the scenes Telegram chat and know exactly what this channel is getting in the mail, what I'm reviewing today, uh, ask me things that you just, it's just harder for me to answer on text, like if I'm doing it through Patreon or Subscribestar, I can just vocally, and now it's come up that every once in a while, someone's like, hey, Zios, can you pin this? And they're selling their gear. Their gear is selling in like 12 hours. Just for me pinning it in the chat with 300 people in it. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. So, I mean, I should charge more for that. Um, but I'm not going to. So that is a thing, and that gets refreshed every three months. You're basically in there for three months once you join. And that's it for now. That's literally it. There's no sound demo. I don't have to link much. I won't, I did test with more than just one pair of headphones, by the way. And I'm sure in the comments of this video, you're all going to ask me, Zios, what about for HG600s? Still not that level of headphone now. Now we're gonna go to the hell, and now you're starting to think about like, all right, you really want to pay it forward for the amplifier. But for, for just normal, everyday, I need entry-level gaming, fucking why not? Why not? List why not in the comments.